Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis 5003 subtest for the Praxis 5001 exam? This exam covers multiple topics in elementary education. These practice questions are for the 5003 exam and cover the subtopic of math. Let's review some of the types of geometry questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get going. Problem number one. A circle has a circumference of 12 pi feet. What is the area? So this is the question we need to answer. What is the area? In order to find the answer to this question, we require two formulae. One to find the area of a circle, which is pi times radius squared. But we don't know the radius, so we also need the formula for that. And the radius is equal to the circumference over 2 pi. And we know the circumference is 12 pi. So this is equal to 12 pi over 2 pi. We can cancel those out and that is 6. So the radius is equal to 6. So the area is pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi. Now let's look at our answers, and right there at the top, 36 pi feet squared. Problem number two, what is an octahedron? An octahedron is a three-dimensional shape with eight flat triangular faces of equal dimensions. If I were to draw it in two dimensions, it would look something like this. four triangles and they meet at the corners. All right, the next term I want to define is polyhedron. A polyhedron is a solid figure with typically more than six faces. So let's begin at D. A regular polyhedron created by three equilateral triangles meeting at their corners. Triangles is the correct shape, but it's four, not three, so this is not the correct answer. C, a regular polyhedron created by three squares meeting at their corners. Again, not squares and not three, so not the correct answer. B, a regular polyhedron created by three pentagons meeting at their corners. They are not pentagons and there are four of them, so again, not the correct answer. A, a regular polyhedron created by four equilateral triangles meeting at their corners. This is the correct answer. Problem number three. What is the perimeter of the figure above? With an irregular shape such as this, we simply add the lengths of the sides. So let's take a look. The longest side is 28 inches. Next, we have 16 inches here. And we have two sides that are 12 inches. I'm going to add those together to 24. So we've got those and those. Then this side is unknown, but we can add 8 plus 6 and we get 14. So that is 14. Then we have the 8 there and the six there. So let's add these up. We've got 10, 20 plus 16. That is 36, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 96 inches. And there's our answer. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day.
Bye for now.